shop. I, uh, I have a little project I'm working on that I'm throwing a video together for. I've actually already finished it, um, but I decided to do a little intro so that I could say everything I need to say for the video because I don't remember if I did cover all the details inside the uh, actual making of it. Uh, I do gunsmithing machining and I was talking to a fellow YouTuber um, has a channel called Tau Flayer Mouse, which there's a uh, pop up that shows how to spell the name of his channel. And I'll throw a, uh, a link in the description below. Uh, he does high speed footage. Uh, he does, I think, 600 and 1200 frames a second, which is not, you know, the crazy high speed like you see on on the Mythbusters TV shows and stuff like that, but it's it's good enough to, to see quite a bit more than you can with the naked eye or with my camera. So uh, I was talking to him about getting some high speed footage possibly of a muzzle brake and he doesn't have anything that he can put a muzzle brake on. He doesn't have any rifles that have threaded barrels. So he actually sent me an email and said, hey what about this? And he had the basic plans for a uh, tolerance fit or heat fit shotgun brake. So I looked at looked at his plans and looked at the steel that I had and thought I think I can make that. So I got out my technology of machine tools book and inside it has all the information the different charts in the back here with uh, tolerance fits and, and what what the uh, sizes are for each measurement. So force fits, the tolerances for a half inch to one inch, the barrel of the shotgun is 0 0.8585 um, according to the measurements that, that Jeff took from Top Later Mouse. And the tolerance for a half to one inch part is one to two thousandths. So I wanted to get pretty close to that. So I, I, when I made the break, um, I, I split the difference and did a thousandth and a half. Um, and I actually made, ended up making two because I forgot to turn on the camera or something happened with my camera. So I, I didn't get the milling video done with the break that I made for, for Jeff. So I ended up making another one for my shotgun and threw it on there, which uh, at the end of the video, I'll throw some, some stills of that up so you guys can see what it looks like all, all fitted up. So I'll, uh, I'll bring you in closer here so you guys can see the, the table I use to, to figure out what size to, to machine it. Okay, so here's the chart that I used. Make sure I get it centered up here. And it's allowance for fits. And it's got running fits, sliding fits, push fits, drive fits, and force fits. And what I use is the forced fit. And if I can get this thing to lock focus. So the barrel is almost an inch, 0.85. So it says plus one to plus two for a forced fit. And like I said, I split the difference and did a thousandths and a half and just went slow, used my uh, telescope gauges and got it right dead on. So hopefully um, Jeff will get that video up of when he mounts it and I can throw a, a link. Um, I'll update the description on this video and throw the link in so you guys can link over to that. Alright, so I am turning this down to an inch and one eighth, so 1.125, and right now I'm at 1.137, so I'm just making my finishing pass right here, I figured I'd catch up on the video here. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making a, a heat shrink muzzle brake for a shotgun for a Tau Flater Mouse, who has a YouTube channel, so let's get this done.
needed it to be just over two inches and I'm two and seven sixteenths right there. I can get this thing to focus on it. You can kind of see it. It's plenty of room. And the finish turned out pretty good. So I get my micrometer here and then see how we did. thousands over still so I'm gonna make one more pass I'm not gonna bore you guys with another repeat of what you just saw so we'll come back when we're finished here all right we are done we're two thousands over if I can get this thing to focus here uh, yeah, I think the glare is gonna be too bad but it's two thousandths over what I want, so that'll be good. I'll be able to polish that out with a, a file and some emery cloth. So let's uh, start boring here. All right, so here we're uh, just getting the center hole bored through. So I'm starting off with a uh, 2964 just because that's what I have sitting here, and it's cobalt, so it'll cut nice and, nice and clean. So this hole was already here and does not go as far in as I was hoping it would. I didn't measure it or anything, but this hole needs to go all the way through and we're only going in about an inch right now. So I'm going to switch over now that I have this bottomed out and it's on the true center. I'll uh, go in with a quarter inch, take it all the way back to at least the edge of this because that's where the end of the brake is going to be. Um, the brake itself is going to be I believe just over two inches or right at two inches. So this will be perfect. I can go all the way back beyond here, bore it, and then I'll switch over to a boring bar and bore it to fit for the press fit diameter which is going to be point eight five eight five. So we need to go two thousandths under that, so it'll be point eight five six five, and that'll be a uh, interference fits, and the uh, person I'm making this for wants to heat shrink it or heat fit it onto the uh, existing barrel he has now. Alright so here's the brake chucked up in the indexing head. I've already made one cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth dropping down with a quarter inch bit until I get all the way through. Once I get a hole I'm going to drop in. I'm going to rotate the head as it's cutting to get 45 degrees off of this side. So 45 degrees over, and I'm going to move it one eighth of an inch and then rotate it back till it's 45 degrees over to this side, come back and then back up to center and that'll give me a 0.375 width and I'll be able to do that on both sides and I'll have a quarter inch gap from the front, quarter inch in the middle and a quarter inch off the back. So like I said I already made one cut, I'm going to Start the second one here, it should be pretty close to punching through.
Okay, so now we're through. I'm going to start rotating to get the cut sideways, which hopefully will hold it stable enough. I've got this piece here. It's basically a, a cheater jack. It's a V-block clamped in my vise and my mill. first cut and this is kind of time consuming so I'm not going to film them all but I'll bring it back when I'm close to finishing up. Okay so here's the finished product. A whirl for you guys. This is actually the second one I made. I made another one and recorded the beginning of it and then forgot to finish it. Forgot to turn the camera back on for the milling so uh, the milling that's going to be in this video is the milling that I did on this one, which is the second one. Uh, Top Flighter Mouse Jeff is going to be getting the first one, which is pretty much the exact same design. Uh, this slot here is milled into it for the front sight post so that it has somewhere to go. And then it'll seat up the end of the barrel will be even with this edge right here. This diameter is the same all the way through on this one. What I made Jeff, there's actually a little shoulder inside so that the barrel actually registers on it. Since I bored this one all the way out, the same diameter all the way through, I figured that probably wasn't going to hit anything. And really I just made this for you guys so you guys could see what kind of a process I used to mill it and uh, to finish up the video because I have a really bad habit of forgetting to turn the camera back on or thinking I turned the camera back on and not actually having turned it back on so I don't end up getting the second half of the uh, footage in. But that's it. I'm going to uh, see if it'll fit up on my shotgun and test it out also. I'll put a link in the video. Um, for 
Jeff uh, YouTube channel. It's Tau Flader Mouse. I'll have to look it up and I'll pop it up like somewhere like in here, and you'll be able to to go to it. I'll try to put a link up in the uh, comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.